we call California has been home to California Indian groups for thousands of years. Today, archaeologists study items such as tools, artwork, toys, and shelters of people who lived long ago. These artifacts provide clues about how California Indians in the area used to live. Archaeologists have learned much about the four California Indian groups. The Kawea, the Chumash, the Miwok, and the Hoopa. While each group had its own styles of clothing, shelter, and unique customs, these groups relied on the natural resources around them to survive. And when they managed to gather more than what they needed, some groups traded with others for the things they needed. Trade is the exchange of goods and services. They knew how to harvest what was here. And what they didn't have, they traded for. There was a lot of trade going on um, within California's boundaries. A lot of our uh, roads and uh, our basically trade routes that were used prior to contact. The Kawea lived near what is now called the Mojave Desert in Southern California. They hunted deer and other animals for food and made their houses out of plants that could be found in the desert. The Chumash lived northwest of the Kawea along the coast between what is now Los Angeles and Santa Barbara. They thrived on the abundant seafood that the ocean offered. They made boats called tomals, which they used for fishing and traveling up and down the coast. The Chumash used shells for money, which they used to purchase things that they needed from other groups. Farther north, some of the Miwok lived in the mountains, where it got very cold in the winter. To stay warm, they built their houses partly underground. Then, to stay cool, as summer approached, they built houses above ground out of bark. For food, they took advantage of everything their mountainous environment had to offer. They hunted deer in the forests and fished in the lakes and rivers. The Hoopa lived in forests even farther north. They hunted the elk and deer that filled the forests and fished. They also gathered acorns, which was an important part of many California Indians' diets. Like the Miwok, the Hoopa built their houses partly underground to prepare for the cold winters. The land and its resources influenced more than just food and shelter for most American Indian groups. They also played a part in shaping many customs and traditions. A custom is a way a group of people does something. A tradition is a custom that is passed down from parents to children. For the Hoopa, fishing was a tradition passed from parent to child. Using materials found in their environments, Kawea and Miwok women, as well as women from other American Indian groups, share a long tradition of basket weaving. A woman's signature would be in her basket. Her design, she would inherit that design, and that design went into that basket. So. If I was another member of the community, I knew exactly who made that basket because it's her design, it's her shape, it's her use of certain materials. For many American Indian people, basket weaving is an important tradition that is still practiced today. The Miwok made traditional costumes from the feathers of birds found in their environment, much like these, which are still made today. Today, many American Indian groups in California also pass on the beliefs of their ancestors, which can sometimes be expressed through myths and legends. A belief is something that is thought to be true or real. A legend is an old, well-known story. Myths explain how or why things happen or teach lessons. Some American Indian groups also participate in traditional ceremonies as part of their religion belief in or worship of one or more gods, and continue to respect the land and resources that their ancestors honored long ago.